Clowns. <laughs> Fuck, man. Clowns, clowns, clowns. Everywhere I can see on the Facebook community of beer. Shout out to We Love Craft Beer Australia, my favourite beer group, um, mm. for beer chonky donkey fucking idiots. Um, <laughs> didn't know where I was going with that. It's uh, raw and it's real and that's what this segment's about. Now, we do. We do have good friends there too. Speak for yourself. Um, do we? Yeah, we have some friends. Sure. So. Shout out to... Shout out to the homies. N.A. Your man. My boy, N.A. Your boy. Has some great thoughts. Um, I've definitely got, uh, put in the bank uh, a very good segment, but it's going to take a bit of time <laughs> oh, um, to touch on his... Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's for another Beer Donkey of the Week, uh, where <laughs> oh, I need a good solid so this 10 is minutes. A new, this is a new segment. This is staying. Oh, yeah. I'm not getting rid of this. It was so well received, and I'm glad people I'm are scared. on board with the vibe. I got into the socials the other night, and I was scared how many people were vibing on your little donkey it feels segment. good to have a segment that's so strong. Submit real. your donkeys. Just text that yeah, for us. Um, please... Slide into our DMs and let us know if you find any donkeys. I can't see them all. There's only so yeah, much or even just idiot- at, idiocrity just, that I can see on uh, Facebook yeah, before just, I cave in. Just tag us on the post mm-hmm. and we'll see it. That'd be nice. At Step Bros. That would be very, very nice. Now, I've got a big one for you this week. Oh. And I think it'll it'll trigger you a little bit more than it will me uh, oh, as, as a brewer. Um, because okay. this one is actually directed to craft beer breweries. <laughs> so, um, What do you mean? I found this one on a, a beer group called CBC, Australian Craft Beer Crew. Oh, yeah. Big group, 15,000. Very big crew. Um, not the worst of the groups on Facebook. Actually, not too bad from time to time. Okay. There's some Do good posts in there. I'm, I'm not going to just rip on beer groups all the time. All right. Um, but... <laughs> This one had over 200 comments. Say so what? This was a big, big... Uh, that is... That's a doozy. Yeah. Topical um, piece that I just couldn't help but not bring up on the show. Mm. And this is, comes from a guy called DK, aka Donkey Kong. <laughs> wow. Um, an wow. absolute donkey. Uh, so I'm not going to, you know, elaborate too much more. Let's get straight into it. He says... Dear craft beer breweries, we want six packs, not fours. We want cartons of 24, not 16, dot, dot, dot. Yours sincerely, customers. Has he, has he, has he spelt breweries wrong? He spelt breweries, P-R-E-W-E-R-Y, apostrophe S. Apostrophe S. Really? Mm, some good spelling, just as like my pronunciation. Um, yours sincerely, customers. So he's speaking for all of us here uh, on CBC. Um, thank so, you, Donkey Kong, for that. Um, so he wants 24s and 6s. He not. doesn't like the format of four packs and cases of 16. Instead, he likes six packs and 24, just like those delicious macro beers come in. That kind of format. Sounds like his kind of vibe. Now, I don't want to defend a donkey. But I'm fairly sure when Beer Cartel did their survey that six packs were the preference over fours overall, but only just in the survey results. But but what size are the cans? But also I want to point out that um, Donkey Kong, what was it, DK? DK, Donkey Kong. Uh yeah, thanks for telling everyone how to do their fucking jobs, mate. Yeah. Because obviously yep. we really needed you to make our packaging decisions for us. Um, I'm really glad because having put all my beer I into knew this would get you. This four packs and 16 packs and paying for my 16 pack trays and cartons yes. for one, local delivery, cost effective, recyclable, two, 
online delivery. This is what I wanted. Fits 500s and 375s. I'm so glad after putting in all that effort, the market research, talking to my customers, yep. the bottle shops, mm -hmm. seeing what they wanted and seeing them take six packs and repackage them into fours. I'm so glad we have he you here to do our jobs for you because I feel like I, feel like I just wasted all that time when... Clearly, I should have just read the letter addressed to me in CBC by mm. Donkey Kong. Addressed to you personally um, and from all of us here at Consumers. From Fantastic. All, from all of us in the brewing community, um, Fuck you. please learn to spell breweries. Wouldn't hurt. Yours sincerely, brewers. Well, I uh, didn't know that you were going to take that so uh Passionately, and I appreciate your thoughts on that as, a, as an it's actual just a bit brewery. Silly. Um, Do you think that if um, he saw the price of a sixteen pack, you know, pass me, pass me that beer we should no, share man. at the top of the show. I want six packs of five hundred mil chunk cans. Put them in my mouth <laughs> all the time. I don't want a case of sixteen chunky cans. I want a twenty four pack of your best five hundred mil. Actually, give me pint size cans. I want to drink as much pint lactose size. as possible. Imperial. Fuck pints. yeah, boy. Get them in my mouth. Fuck you, DK, you piece of fucking shit. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, okay, so... What do you want? Give me the... Give me the... Give me the... This is a thing. So that's Do you a, want 330 mils? Do you want 375s? Do you want 440s? Do you want 500? You probably do fucking well, want 500. What do you reckon the four-pack of <sighs> a Deeds beer comes out at? Like, you know, something like Nostravi? I don't know. Maybe Deeds is the wrong example. People don't like their pricing. <laughs> But the problem is, the other problem is with Australia is um, we think we're really smart and most of the time we're not. So when you look at a four pack or a six pack, do you work out the per mil price? Oh, absolutely not. I just, well, as a consumer, that's the last thing I think of. So if you're going to buy a four pack of 375 mil cans, like you look at the price of that, you don't say, Oh, okay, so a four pack of three seven five mil cans, four times three seven five. Take the twenty to twenty eight dollar, depending on what the beer is. Maybe higher if it's something you know a bit more pricey, heavily hopped. Divide that by the mills. Okay, now take the six pack. Divide that by the. Yeah, I'm not, the doing, wholesale, I'm not doing that at all. <laughs> the wholesale pricing, no matter whether it's in a sixteen or a twenty four pack, on a per unit basis, is going to come out pretty much the same. Like. Why are we having this conversation? We're putting them into... I'm not even going to engage now. No, I'm done with it. Was his next comment that... And I also want the six-packs to be the price of the four-pack. I just... It, don't speak for me, mate. Sorry. Don't fucking speak for me. Like, I think as a craft beer community, people are buying varied cans a lot more than they are cases and yes, four-packs yes. anyway. Um, so first of all, that doesn't really make sense. Like the only time I'm speaking on my, my own opinion here now is like the only time I'm buying a six pack is like, like some bow camp, um, lager or something like that where I know I'm going to like, if it came in a four pack, would you still buy it? Absolutely. Would you just, buy I just two know the only reason I buy a six pack of bow camp lager when I could was because it came in a six pack, but I'm, if it's very rarely I'm buying a four pack. Let alone a case. If, if DK wants to jump on my website, I'll put on a special option for him where he can have the per mil price at either a four pack or a six pack rate. Done. Beautiful. And did, then, you get, did you get your, um, I'll just change my packaging. Your, your mountain culture and Mr. Banks cartons as 16s or 24s? 16s. Why not 24s? I was fucking outraged, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Fuck God. Me. Um, but yeah, did you so have some top comments I did. Uh, yeah, this is the thing. You some did. really good top comments. 200. Out of the 200 comments, I had a good good look through. And uh, this is a great comment from uh, from my homie, uh, HB. HB. Oh, no, sorry, MB. My MB. Apologies. Honestly, disgusted I can't get barley wines out of an IV bag. Preach. Preach MB for PM. Just fucking stick it right in Some my uh, in my hand. Hook me up. Hook it in. Cannula, please. Shit. Didn't realise uh, we'd elected a spokesman. That's from uh, JW. Don't mind that. That's, That's a big great. energy from JW. You could I work. like that. Don't mind that. Um, MW said, "Don't say you could speak for me, champ." Oh, 
Champ. Champ's a strong word. Champ. Champ is strong. I'm definitely going to use that more. I've got I've got in trouble for calling you champ. A lot of group chat. A yeah, lot of alpha yeah. energy in that word. I like mm. that. Um, champ. Dangerous. Oh. Dangerous. Oh. Uh, oh. AF said, this is very funny. I wish bags came in the pound, not by the gram. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's not talking about beer. <laughs> oh. He's talking about hops. Yeah. He's talking about yeah, he's talking about hops. Yes. He's talking about hops. hops. Do not no, take this nose, down YouTube. Nose beers. Do not take. And then this someone down just YouTube. gave him a classic uh, brewery spelling uh, fix. Thank Actually, you. Oh, just gave him the spelling fix. Gave him the correct spelling of breweries, and uh, that was very well received from a few likes as well. So, Morris. yeah, there's my beer like donkey of the week. Um, yeah, a bit of a silly one that one. Uh, don't know. Don't speak for me, you fucking idiot. <laughs>